Hello, I'm so glad you're here again if you're always here with me. And if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, you're so welcome. My name is Busola. And let me add Merry Christmas. It's that season, isn't it? When we remember the biggest giving of all. When God gave his son, Jesus, to come to the earth live here experience everything we're experiencing just for our sake to save us from our sin the biggest giving ever i'm sure you agree and have you received him have you received that gift if you haven't received jesus this is another opportunity for you to do so and all you need to do is say lord jesus Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. And it's done. Just that simple. Pray that prayer. And you receive the gift that we're celebrating this season. Today, I would like us to continue the discussion on living a life of legacy. And I've invited my friend Dele Shonubi to help us. I've known Dele for a couple of decades. Dele is an organization development expert. He loves mentoring charities and other development organizations. My BIC, brother in charity, if you are wondering what that means. I won't say much more. I would let him speak of his passion. Sometimes there is a sense of pay forward. You have benefited such um, enormously from individuals, from families, from community, and we feel compelled or encouraged or we feel motivated to give back. And, and, and we think the best way to do such is, is to give directly, uh, which is not bad. But when you give to people, they will come back and they will come back again. Then when people come to you and come to you to request for support or assistance, then you refer them to such organizations or to such, uh, to such foundations and you say, okay, you go here and then they will help. If, for example, Jack comes to me and asks me for school fees and I give Jack 10,000 Nigerian Naira. When I give to him, he thanks me and then goes his way. But if I ask him to go to, say for example, Mama Foundation, Mama Foundation will ask him, okay, what do you want to do with this? You're going to pay school fees and you're going to do so, 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 and so. So we'll give you the resources, but you'll bring back the receipts. And you will give back, you'll bring back evidence that you have done uh, what you wish to do with the money, with the resources that we provide. The Mama the foundation will encourage to do the same thing to other people when he has the power to. They will ask him, for example, to pay it forward. In which case, the 10,000 naira that you have given to XY becomes a, has a um, multiplier factor. He does that to somebody else, and somebody else does that to another person, and another person does that to another person, and then the thing keeps going and keeps keeps circling. That way, you can give to the community, to the society, and to generations beyond you and beyond you and I. Wow. Thank you so much, my brother, Dele. That's a full package you've given us, and we won't forget this in a hurry. He just said it. Don't just fold your arms. No. Do something. You give. You can give to trusts and foundations that you know you trust to do what you wish to do with your money. Yes, trust that you trust to use your money for the good you want it used for. And how about joining friends, teaming up with a group of friends to do the good that's in your mind. You can do that. And you don't need to say you don't have a lot of money. Don't wait until you have all the money in the world. Every little counts, as they would say. 
this is a good time to give if you have been giving this is a good time to give more and if you have been thinking of giving this is a good time to start the habit of giving thank you for joining me today don't forget to leave your comments and please share with friends and family who you know this would bless once again merry christmas enjoy your christmas and i'll see you in my next video then bye